I got a question for you. What's up, Miss B? If you nasty, all right, give me a question. What's more disrespectful? Why are you doing this? This right here is more disrespectful. Why? This right here. Why? <laughs> What's more disrespectful? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I know I just ate more, but I'm about to ask you a question. What's more offensive, I should say? Mm -hmm. What's more offensive? Mm -hmm. Ready for the quotes? Yep. This is for the sound bite. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know if you can be able to use it because you believe about the cuss words. I do. What's more offensive? Mm -hmm. Suck my. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty up there. Mm -hmm. Or this. Fuck you, mother. Definitely the first one. Fuck you. Definitely the first. One. A white person saying it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's What's more offensive? Um, Suck my. Or this is someone talking to me. This is, this is the a, white person. <laughs> both of them are a white person. Okay. Okay. That changes the the scope of things. Um, this is going to go to the white dude calling me a nigga. It's an automatic win. Yep. Both of the black dudes saying it. It's even, even if there was a white dude who was like, yo, suck my And another white dude was like, you are very nice. Beating their ass. Beating their ass. <laughs> He's such a nice helpful. Thank you. Thank you. You're the nicest I've ever met. Beating your ass. So you all said negative and positive can't. <laughs> yeah, you can't cancel out the nigga. Let me tell you something. The most talented I've ever known in my life mm -hmm. is Chasm Rogers. He's like, hey, man. And he deserves this. This. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the award show. Stop the award show. Would you just call me Robert Downey Jr.? <laughs> this is what the cue card said. <laughs> you told us to say this. Whoever's well, presenting, you said say these exact words. God damn, like this is. It's not like you eating something soft. It's not like it's a jelly bean. It's like the crunchiest thing. You might as well be eating rocks in people's ears. Jasmine. I need these proteins. God, Lord. It is crunchy. <laughs> it is country. Like, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Twilla. Twilla. Come I'm on. Sorry. Get your guy. This is why you can't never get your... This is why I had to start bleeping everything. Cause, yeah, uh, it's not... I'll, we were because demos, were we? Yeah. Remember, we couldn't get it monetized for a while. Some episodes were monetized and some weren't. Because Is there some sort of thing you can bleep it yourself? Like a software? I just go through it. I mean, I got to edit it for clips anyway, so I just listen through it. If if Instagram can catch you, you ever did like the caption for, for Instagram and they'll bleep it out for you? Mm, if they can catch that, they can. There's a, there has to be a software that can, that, that Maybe. Peeps but I just go, you know, I was like, I got to edit it. I listen to it while I'm gaming or something. And I was like, I got to gotta catch this clip nowhere. Um, what's good, Chaz? What's on your stand-up agenda? Um, well... I guess I should start doing this during the episodes, huh? I'll be in Sacramento. Nope. I'll be in Fort Worth, Texas this Friday. Nope, this Saturday, May 18th. Two shows with DC Urban. I'm coming too. Then I'll be in Sacramento. Oh, I don't know what day that is. June 22nd, June 21st. I think it's both those. And then I'll be in San Diego with Keon June 2nd, I believe. That's dope, like man. I love that you do that. Yeah. Tag along, Chaz. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Until I get all this stuff back up. Many service. Mm -hmm. um, all right, yes, it's also the topics. I mean, you got to have the topics. It got to be spicy. Mm -hmm. Spicy and original. <laughs> Hello. That was for you, Spicy. Um, what, what do you think, think your Spicy's wife? real name is? I don't know, man. You think it's I like... looked up her up, and she said the same thing on Instagram. Mm -hmm. what, is, uh, what is your vice? My vice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Money, women, drugs. Cheesecake. Like, what do you think? What, what do you makes think it a vice? As Are you, like, you gonna eat this thing the whole time here? Is it is it annoying you? Can this, you hear this it? Is all, yeah. What do you mean? All I hear is. Oh, I didn't know you could hear it. I thought the crunchy was doing you off. God damn. I'm sorry, dude. Come on, man. What's your vice? I'm professional, bro. This might look up the word vice. I will say something that you struggle with. 
you know, some people that struggle with alcohol, women, money, things that will kind of. I like doing nothing. Alternate your your life. I hate doing stuff. No, that's not it. Why? I like being procrastination. Oh, yeah. No, no. Why help them out, y'all. Why is what's wrong with procrastination? What is the vice? <laughs> no, because be procrastination is not a vice. Anybody, everybody do that. Everybody can do that. I think I think a vice is on like ah when you threw that out there that that kind of changed my idea. Things you can be compromised with. Sometimes we're like, hey, dad, you coming to my wedding? Absolutely. He's like, hey, Jazz, can you do this uh, project for me? I'm paying you a million dollars. You'd be like, oh, fuck that wedding. wedding. Yeah, yeah. that wedding. Um, but is that a vice? What? If I was to skip their wedding? I mean, as in like money has changed your decision. Women has changed your decision. Drinking has changed your decision. It is something that's like, ah, I can't pull away from this, man. I can't stop thinking about this. Being a better father. Yes. Great answer. My kid's my vice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have something that's like that. That's detrimental. Yeah. That's, what, you, what is your weakness in life? Mm. What can you be compromised with? Let's just work on that. As in like, if it, if, 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 if it was enough of this, if, you know, I was if, supposed if to do this. If money, I would change my goal, mm-hmm. my, my whatever I'm doing. Yeah. They ain't got to be a ton Everybody of has money. a number, man. This is crazy. My number is low. Mad low. It depends is? on what it is. It depends on what I, oh, that's mm-hmm. I'm doing. I'm going to get this money real quick. Mm-hmm. If you like, yo, Chaz, and I'm on the side of the road, man. Can you come get me? I got you. Mm-hmm. Like, I got you. GPS says 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Cool. Bring. Hello? Yo, Chaz, got this bag for you. We got to go to San Diego, but we got to go right now. Mm-hmm. Five grand. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, Lack. Don't, like, don't answer your phone for nothing else. <laughs> hey, Lack, man. Remember when I told you it's going to be 20 minutes? Mm-hmm. We going to pick you up. And go mm-hmm. to San Diego. <laughs> oh, it's your kid's wedding? Yeah. <laughs> you ain't gonna make it. You ain't gonna make it, brother. You ain't gonna make it, dog. Yeah. I don't know. You have a vice? Several. What are your vices? I think I, 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 I do believe, I think pleasure is anybody's vice, right? Well, you, want to feel, you want to feel good. I Money like, makes you feel good. I like doing nothing. But it makes you feel good, don't it? Yeah, well, I like. I. But it's my. So this would be advice. It's if if it was like, hey, Chaz, I really want you to come to my wedding. And you'd be like, absolutely, Chaz, I'll be there. And if smells like, yo, was like, just, just can you just stay at the house with me, man? Just relax. All right. <laughs> Depends on who it is. I don't need much advice to go and do nothing. Like if if it was like a, a new series of a of a show was dropping. Right, let's Stranger Things six came out. Mm-hmm. Right, and I'm like, ooh, I gotta bid Stranger Things six. Bring. Hey, Chaz, I'm on the side of the highway. Oh, lack, it's crazy, dog. My phone don't work. Click. It don't work. <laughs> That's not advice though. That's just bad friendship. Because <laughs> it's not like it's a one time project and you're never going to get to see it again. It's oh. it's it's streaming. I need you help. You got then. advice? Hold up, show you some advice. Can you guys help me out with vices? Let's, let's Google some vices. Yeah. I gotta call the kid back. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said, "My advice is being a good parent, <laughs> being a good father." <laughs> what are? Can y'all name some things in the comment section? Some vices. of your vices, and don't be like, "I ain't got no vices. I'm perfect." Don't say that. Let's see. Um, what are you addicted to? That's what they're asking. I heard you, Chaz. I was driving to Seven Eleven. Don't clown me, Chaz. In the a fellow. Oh, your fellow Michigander, where you from, Kalani? Mm-hmm. I'm still gonna clown you. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, okay, let's see. That's just garbage. Gambling. Mm-hmm. Okay. What are some common vices? Oh, this is giving me the seven sins. <laughs> Smoking. Okay. Eating. There you go. These are just the seven cents. Like anger. Er, come on, man. Is that a vice? Arrogance? That doesn't sound like a thing. Oh, uh, uh, Kenny, are these your vices or are you just naming them off? Let's see. I 
Okay, a vice is a habit which is regarded as a weakness in someone's character, but not usually as a serious fault. Okay, I spend too much on clothes. That's my only vice. This is the example. Drink okay, so a weakness in someone's character, but not usually as a serious fault. Sweets. Okay. Um, <laughs> peanut butter crunch. <laughs> oh, I do love me peanut butter. Get the key to peanut funny. butter is definitely a weakness of mine. Mm-hmm. If you said so, so if we're if we were somewhere and it was like, um, I'm, I don't know, the stakes gonna be high, but like I'm gonna probably go try this cheesecake somewhere. Yeah, you know, and they was, was like, don't don't try it, bro. And they was like, hey, move we, out we, my we. way. <laughs> I'm on the way. I said, move out my way. <laughs> I was like, don't so, try no, no, no. Here's this. Here's this. Here's this. Look, you're you telling your you telling your daughter like, listen, I need you to start making healthier choices. All right, eat some vegetables, maybe some salads, some fruits. And they're like, hey, Chaz, you want some of this uh, cheesecake, peanut butter cheesecake? You like, like, yes. Dad, remember, remember, you said make healthier choices. Get your goddamn head off, oh. little girl. What do you know? You just got here. <laughs> what do you know? Um. When uh when so when when they sabotaged Tony Kevin Angel and they sent him those cheesecakes from Cheesecake Factory mm-hmm. Tony oh yeah Mary hit us yeah I don't eat chocolate though mm-hmm. so I was like ah, had that been a peanut yeah. butter something cheesecake I sure said what I got it. how far are you from Tony about thirty minutes yeah I told him I was like he's an hour away from me I was like I wouldn't have done that I was like hey man what kind that's why I asked him Ooh, what kind mm-hmm. chocolate something I don't yeah. know what else about that yeah I I, I would if it was downtown I would pick it up. And then try to have an excuse of like it's for the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for me, brother. Oh, uh oh, I locked myself outside. <laughs> Guess I'm homeless. <laughs> the hell broke. Get off of me. This is mine. Walking around with this cake on my face. Um, strip club. Damn, Eric. Strip club. You 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 addicted to the strip club? Oh, these are great. Amazon. These some great oh, vices. Device. Impulsive buying mm. strip club. Damn. What up, Brooklyn B? Gaming. What what makes it a vice or a hobby? Is there a difference? I like gaming. That's a good question. To ask the people, man. What's the difference? What's the difference between a hobby and a vice? As in, like, is it a weakness? So is it like I'm skipping work to game? I think I think it's something. Put that something else be, before my what's important. I think it's like compromising. I could definitely see entertainment, TV, movies for me. If you're if you're a rent dude and you're at the strip club, that's some vice. <laughs> you like, yeah, man, nah, take that, take that, take. Oh shit, that was the last thousand. I need that. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Really excuse no, no, you did your thing. I didn't. I need that. No, that last tag. That was for my rent. Okay. So take it out your butt, please. <laughs> Can you take it out? Let me your ask you butt? this. Let me uh-huh. ask you this. On the strip club, mm-hmm. if you had a stack of money, right? Mm-hmm. You walk in there like, I'm about to have it's my knock at your hand. Oh, oh, oh. Do you just leave it on the ground or do you just pick it up to <laughs> Do you pick it up to, to re-throw it again? I'ma pick it up. And not only am I picking it up, security coming. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at whose knees and kicking the back. <laughs> Bow! So you gotta get like, out of there. Security coming. You be like, yo, we about to tow it up. And as soon as you walk in, like, yo, you be like, no, hey, he bumped me. Yeah. He bumped me. Yeah. Now you in a scuffle. You 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 dropped a thousand dollars at the at the entrance. No, I didn't. He like, nope, nope, don't pick it up, sir. Don't pick it up. You be like, what, what am I here for? Nobody was even stripping over here. I'm by the door. I'm by the door. Wasn't a single titty being popped over here. He's like this. <laughs> he does as he lays yeah, yeah. down. Like he, pick, he picks up himself like, thank you. I can go home now. <laughs> no, man. Um, hobby is a positive time filler. I don't know. Positive? I mean, it makes you feel good, I guess. Vice is the strip. <laughs> Vice is the step uh, just before addiction. Okay. Okay, come on, man. I was a goddamn nuts. You gonna fucking drink them? I'm trying to do it on the low. Hurry up. See, I was like, <laughs> I'm not even swallowing them. I mean, I'm not even chewing. I just swallowed the nuts. That's it. <laughs> Vice is a junior addiction. Not not ready for rehab, but my experience with the draws. But my, uh, my experience with draws. Um, clubbing. Keen and keen. You just, you be in the clubs like that? You just got to be like, uh, peanut butter crunch is hilarious. Um, hey, Kenny, Kenny, are you in L.A.? <laughs> that girl right there. <laughs> that girl having a good time. This girl said, 
Keenan King said her vices is gambling, <laughs> gambling, smoking, eating, drinking, sweets, um, cup Ke- clubbing. Keenan's a crackhead. Keenan's a crackhead who's like your, her time is almost done at the at the at the uh, library. <laughs> she got to get back off so she can't use the internet. <laughs> Yo, I'm going. <laughs> Give me just got all her bags. I'm going. Get off me. You said goddamn the, hands. Is it a crackhead at the library? Yeah, you know they be in there. She's checking my email. <laughs> yeah, they, and they get off. They, they got to sign back up again. <laughs> go right back on. Let me go check my crack mail. Gosh, yo, I remember that. Remember? Hold on, man. man. I, we got, that was my we life. We got to stay here for a that second. That was my life for the longest. Do you remember the late 90s, early 2000s? Okay. You didn't have the internet. Mm-hmm. So you go to the library. Mm-hmm. You had to sign up. Mm-hmm. You was on there for what, 15, 30 minutes? It depends. You, you might get one that was 15 minutes right. or you might get the one of the longer ones. Right. The list was shorter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then. And you then might get like, 30 minutes. Oh, oh, excuse me, sir. You got you to get huh? up. Um, Someone's requesting for this. Uh, I'm in the middle of this last email. I'm just watching videos. And you just <laughs> because you have to you have to keep an eye on them because you know when they come. Oh, shit. And the thing is, you gotta be you gotta be a little asshole. You gotta be like, can't they just go right there? Like 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 I'm just gonna sign back up. This one. This is great. Shh. I'm still printing out lyrics to, to Bone Thugs and Harmony. And they <laughs> doing a hot nothing in there. <laughs> I didn't, Not I didn't doing know what they saying on Notorious yeah. Thugs. And Mom the Dangerous. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> yes, the lights Just, tap on this left shoulder. My kids, the kids will never know, bro. Man. Man, Man. yo. That's so embarrassing. Uh, I already come. Oh, shit. Let me go and wrap this up. Uh, okay, listen, I know, I know what you're saying. I yeah, got yeah. 15 minutes left. Me, I do me, this every day. I understand. 45. And, then, I understand. Uh, and the person that's supposed to take your computer over your shoulder. Standing hey, right man. there. Hey, man. Hey. You ain't got to be here either. I'm just saying, dog, so the public library. <laughs> and I always get the computer to get my back towards the door because you <laughs> towards the towards the wall so you can't see what I'm looking at. Yeah. Woo! Good times. Good times. When I lived in L.A., I mean, when I moved to L.A., I was in the library every single day. Yeah. I, yes. There was nowhere else you can go yeah. to be in air conditioning. Air conditioning, baby. All day. Mm-hmm. Was Funky. Mad, mm-hmm. a mad musty. Mm-hmm. I was gym and library, and then I would go hit the streets, yeah. and then we'd be out in the in these streets doing stand up. I wrote my I wrote my book in the library. It is mad distracting because the library. I mean, because you get people that keep coming in and coming out, and mm-hmm. you get homeless people to sit next to you and just kind of just be like, next to you, <sighs> just chilling. That was mm-hmm. me. I was a cleaner homeless dude, but yeah, I was one of them. Mm-hmm. Now I see the saying, "Hey Gary, how you mm-hmm. doing? Reading the newspaper that you can't participate mm-hmm. in life? All right, let's excuse me." I think we're done talking about vices. Let's let's walk through how do people become on the street homeless. Okay. 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 Let's let's get to a place of how do you get I'm lame. Oh, I never seen this. Ads will run what? shortly for some viewers. Is that with for us right now? Um, I think it's for them. Or are you watching a video right now? No, it's not. Ads oh. will run shortly for viewers. Do y'all just saw the ad right now? Yeah, I think that. Did y'all just see an ad? I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. To Ad yeah. what? Ad inserted. Or are y'all seeing an ad right now? That's what I said. Because now I'm wondering, are we like, should we pause or something? Take 10 seconds for station identification. Mm. Um, okay, so walking down how a homeless person becomes. How do you become homeless? Don't, don't say drugs. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, no, that, that can happen. Let's just do a normal, I'm on the streets now, laying. We got, we got to walk through all the things that can happen. Okay, well. You could get uh, your job can get closed or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. You can get what's the word Fur- furloughed. Yep. So you lose your job. So now you lose your job. So you're like, oh crap! I got this house. I live to in pay my for. house. Live right. in my car now. Okay, we're down to my car. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this you skipping a few steps. Okay. You could be working paycheck to paycheck. Mm-hmm. I I have a I have a, a roommate. Mm-hmm. Hey roommate, I can't pay. My portion of the rent. Mm-hmm. I'm working paycheck to paycheck. He said, "Well, you got to get out, bro." Okay, cool. I'm gonna sleep in my car, right? Mm-hmm. You sleep in your car for a few weeks or months, and he's like, "Hey, man, I got a new roommate. You got to move your car because that's his new spot right there." <laughs> so now you're on the street. Mm-hmm. A lot of people live in their car in LA, mm-hmm. right? Living in the mm-hmm. car. All your clothes is in the trunk, mm-hmm. 
And then do you get find a new job? And then you get told. Ah, you that's get what your I card went, That's told. what I went through. I was on, I was homeless for a whole night, and then I had a friend who was like, "Just come stay with me." Yep, this happens. You stay at somebody's like, house. Nah, man. He was like, he was like, "What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gonna sleep on a bench?" Mm-hmm. I was like, "No." I was like, "Just come stay with me." Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, thank How long does this last? Oh, a long time. No, so you sleep, you sleep on somebody's couch. Oh, I, me personally, I did. But if it's somebody else, is like, "Hey, man, you got anything figured yeah. out? I got my yeah. nephew coming in." Yeah, because you can get a job. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all good, all good, all good. I mean, it's hard because if you're if you got laid off, oh, man. you got the mercy of the job market, right? And it, mm-hmm. now it's probably a little easy if you have a car, you can get Uber and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. There's way more ways to make money than there was uh, in '06. Yeah, <laughs> right. So, right. um, so you on somebody's couch? Before I would say I would people's patience. I would say is two two and a half months. It depends on free. what you're doing. If you're the type of person, you go like, hey, man, took my little check. I brought some groceries. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I cleaned up here, blah, blah, blah. So I was a little bit. Fix your, fix your tile on your ceiling. <laughs> but, oh, okay. Mm-mm. You're a handy guy. Mm-hmm. And you can stay. Mm-mm. If you're handy and you bring me more joy than stress, yeah. then you're a blessing. You can be right. a blessing or, or a burden. It's, yeah, it's, a, burden. it's a burden no matter what. Um, do, you have, do you enjoy company? Yeah. Because as as much as they doing for your house, just know that they they watching your TV. You can't just watch it when you want to. Mm-hmm. You're now you're Netflix chilling with this person. Is you watching? It wouldn't bother me so much, uh, but it would probably get to other people fast. But I was also that guy mm-hmm. multiple times. Yeah. I have That's a lot the more, issue for I have me. a lot more patience for it. I don't care if you washing my clothes, mm-hmm. mopping, you clean my upholsteries. <laughs> And then I'm, I come home like I really want to watch X Men '97, and you like, hey, you gotta watch this show, man. It's called Appernam. But after after you come home, it's yours. And that's the thing about being on the couch. You can't be like, anyway, bro. No, <laughs> once someone else comes home, and I'm like, hey, dog, I ain't know if you was hungry, but made some dinner. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not watching nothing. You got to be like, here, dog. Here's your piece. Actually, by the time you get home, I'm like, let me go step out real quick. <laughs> Need some time to decompress. Yeah. You gotta have good homeless timing. <laughs> you can't be you can't be invested like. Hey, if you're homeless, you gotta be gone as often as possible. Oh boy! If you're sleeping on somebody's couch, if you're sleeping on somebody's couch and they work nine to five, you got nine to five to be there. You need to be uh-huh. gone from five to nine. <laughs> Them last four hours of the day, you gotta find somewhere to go. Now, how would you feel if you come home and they got company? Yeah, I'd be like, "Who's this?" Yeah. Oh, this is the Home, homies. Homeless girl number two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this girl number two. Yeah, I'm so my, my homeboy's uh, birthday, man. So I, talk, I know you, I, you know we gonna clear, but we we got we bought some pizzas over. That's for you, some wings and stuff. How they been usually? Are they always like this, or they've been stellar to this point? He's been good, but this is just like he's doing a birthday party. Cause then I'd be like, hey, dog. <laughs> this is not every day. This is no more days. This is never again. Would you ruin the whole event? No. Or do after word? I'll be eating my pizza staring them down though. <laughs> Would you how'd you say you know? Oh. <laughs> you ain't got no job, you mean my work. Because the worst thing is, this is what I hate. When you have your own house, you got a roommate, mm-hmm. you gotta check with them to see if they're home, if you got company. Hey, are you at the house? I'm bringing the chick by. Let me know. If you're at the house, like I'm here, but like, get out because I'm bringing a chick by. And now you got to do the whole thing like, it's my roommate. He doesn't stay here. He just stay here. He's not a roommate. It's like, oh, right. Your <laughs> roommate. Yeah. Trust me, he's here for free. Yeah, if you're on a couch, man, you just, you just happy to not be in the street. <laughs> You need to tap dance yeah. when homie says tap dance. And yeah. you got to be invisible. We should never know you're there. Right. That's right. that's just, you should, before I wake up, you should be gone. You can come back after yeah. I leave. Yeah. Then you do whatever needs to be done. I'm, I'm, I'm your weird, key. man. I'm, I'll try to find things coming in like. Why? You, no, no, as in like, you, <laughs> have you ever had somebody stay at your house? Yeah. And then you like, like 
what have they done? What have they touched? Like, what have they moved around? Like, did they eat the last bit of my cinnamon toast crunch? You That's like, why you gotta be a, you gotta, you gotta be, so, you gotta think about this. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me stay with you. You gotta be a ninja. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. They wake up. Hey, man, I didn't know if you were still here. Oh no, no, I'm out looking for a job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nine yeah. on one. They leave. You come in. All yeah, right. yeah. You be like, did you use the last bit of the toothpaste? To- toothpaste? Yeah, but listen, I went to the store. They were closed. I tried to get some more. I'll bring you some more. <sighs> bro, day. What? I, like, like I'm that person. I actually, could, but if you can't use the last, right? You got to be like, <laughs> hey, man, if I talk to you, my breath stinks because I ain't want to use the last of your toothpaste. Yeah. Or you just be that guy to go buy some more. So I yeah. Use toothpaste. Is this the one you use? All right. You're like, oh. Now you you are a you great homeless some. person. Yeah. Uh, I I wasn't in the beginning. Uh-huh. I was uh, I was very much on like I treated everybody like my family or friend. So mm-hmm. I was very trash early on. Mm-hmm. I got better later. <laughs> yeah. When you realize the burden you put on people, mm-hmm. I was very immature about it early yeah. on. You're grateful, but you're also just mm, just just young and Man, yo, because I, I've, 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 I I live by myself for a while now, mm-hmm. and it's no going back. It's it's hard it's hard to be at the mercy. You come you want to come home. Last, I just want to live my life. Yeah. I just want to enjoy life. I want to cook what I want. I want to eat. I want to watch TV what I want. And and if somebody's already doing it, it's like it's it's like this is what it feels like. <laughs> you ever you ever had this shit and then you go to the restroom and somebody just shit it. You be like now I gotta fill your warm ass. <laughs> Like, gosh, dude, I need to cool this off a little bit, man. Yeah, like, cause yeah, I just cool know it you, off. Yeah, it's like, gosh, I don't, I don't want your, your, your aftermath no. of you having a good time here. I mean, it's having a family. Yes, I get it, I get it. But you, you can smell the residue of like. Listen, dog. Oh, I, I envy you at times. Cause I go like, you got, you got the benefits without having to deal with the day to day. Yeah, I would love. A hideout. Yeah. <laughs> Where it's just me yeah. working. Nick. I'd be jealous. I'd be like just sitting there enjoying all this peace. Let me tell you something, man. Imagine imagine your homeless friend is in the bathroom. He's like, you hear him playing like YouTube. You're like, hey, get out the bathroom, man. I got in the shower. What I don't want to hear you say <laughs> music in the shower. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Are you having a good ass time? Am I dying? You in there playing scissor? You can huh? play a whole song? Nah, fam. You need. You can't do no whole song. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, I got to go. Yeah, I got your, to your go. Your shower gotta be quick, bro. It should be like a bucket splash. Yeah. You out. <laughs> Get your ass out. What's the talk? What's the talk, Chaz? If he if he's a if he started off incredible, and now he's at a place of annoyance. Hey, listen, dog. You're my buddy. You're my mm-hmm. friend. I love you. I'm glad you're here. You're Thank safe you, here. But you're becoming a burden, dog. You what, what are you talking off, about? You I got st- you some lasagna. Sure. You I st- take the trash out. Sure. You started I off. I vacuum. Sure. When you started oh. off, you was hot, bro. You was doing X, Y, and Z. It was on time, blah, blah, blah. But it's been a couple months now. I don't think you made any progress on your job search, have you? I mean, I've, so you're I've, still I, just, I did some surveys. Yeah. You're still unemployed, and it's not that I don't like having you here, bro, but eventually, if you're not being a blessing, you're being a burden. And listen, once you start causing me stress and you take me out of my comfort wow. zone, then we have a problem. Wow. Listen, the money I make, I buy groceries, mm-hmm. I buy toiletries, right. I, I vacuum, I sweep, all the things that you're not paying for no more. <clears throat> yeah. You understand? Do, 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 I, wasn't, do, I was fine paying all that. All this? I pay for fine. You need to come here and start adding something to me. But I've given you nothing but joy. When you're here, I've given you nothing but a roof over your head. And now, tighten up, or you got to get out, dog. I so, love you. All right. So when I leave, just, just talk. know this your you, life. I'm already walked out. <laughs> <laughs> nice talk. It's my place. I got to hear this shit. <laughs> nothing to go back and forth with. So, so now this dude's on the street. What is your first night? On the street, what do you what do you just sit on the side on the stoop? You, yeah, you go to, you go. You've to exhausted a park. all everybody else's. You go to a park, and you sit there. And you go. <laughs> Gosh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and then you go to the cl- the nearest cliff. Yeah. <laughs> and you look over. No. And you go. Because there's no, you have no clothes because they already no, got you, told. You got, you got to walk all the way up to Mulholland, right? Yeah. <laughs> to the yeah. lookout. And you just look over the city. Mm-hmm. And you have to see, is there still something to live for? <laughs> I just jump here. <laughs> Are we done? 
Yeah. And then you look out in the city, and the city will talk to you. Mm-hmm. I'm not done. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, you yeah. see planes flying in the distance. Mm-hmm. They go LAX way down mm-hmm. there, <laughs> right? And you go, all right. And you, you pick a you pick a path. Yeah, yeah. There's the endless tumble down, <laughs> and there's a walk right back down. And you go, all right, we'll grind it out, bro. I'm gonna go to the yeah. gym tomorrow, right? Wash my dusty ass, mm-hmm. okay? Because that's my place. Keep looking for jobs. Grind out. Go go give plasma. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta yeah, grind it out. Sperm. First plasma. thing you do is you go. You'll never be broke, dog. If you go donate plasma, there's mm-hmm. literally money in your body. Yeah. And you can't get a ton. You get a couple hundred dollars a month, three yeah. to four hundred bucks. But, yeah. you, but it's something. But what? Is, hold on. What is what is the the what is the the dangerous amount that you can give? You can only give twice a week. So, so how do you know if you go to different go to different blood blank blood? They banks. have a system. You're all in one system. Then I've done this. What you, I've done this. So what if you got different names? My name is Paul. No, I mean you 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 sign a bunch of papers. You're you're, you're in a government system. Mm-hmm. You're in a system where they. I'm have gonna you. ID. But then you can't donate. Mm. Yeah. And then they're gonna test your blood, anyways. Well, it's not gonna. It's in, in, in the system. In case you have disease, you can't. No, no, no. If I was like, if I was like, oh, they don't match up your DNA anything, yeah. but you, 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 you just the, donate the, in the Burbank. They will register you. They give you a little code, so you might have a, a thing to scan or something just to identify you. Um, but yeah, dog, I did wow. plasma donations a lot for wow. years. Really? Is that? I, I can't say. Is, is it healthy? Is it? You can still see the holes, like the tracks I have in there. Wow. Mm-hmm. So is it healthy? As in, like. Like, cause it's like an oil change essentially. I, no. Listen, no, listen, listen. Hear me not. out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear no, me out. You're already wrong. Hear me out. Are you gonna stay on the oil change thing? <laughs> Just do an analogy. Okay. So when you when you get rid of blood, mm-hmm. your your heart pumps more to replenish that blood, right? Well, blood and plasma are different. Oh. Mm-hmm. Plasma is in your blood. Hmm. And they take plasma out of your blood. Then they they take your blood out. They give you plasma. They take the plasma and then they put the blood back in you. Oh, mm. I did not know that. Yeah. Never done it. Mm-hmm. So plasma is just like a, I mean, I don't know exactly what the makeup is, mm. um, but they yeah, take plasma out of you. Mm. Um, but yes, I have uh, very extensive knowledge in, wow. in donating plasma. and uh, so, but, you could, but what if I donate plasma and blood? The same uh, day, you. I don't know if you can do it the same day because there's different places. Um, some, you know, I don't know about some places. There might be some that do the same, but blood's really not worth it. It's only like twenty bucks. Really? Yeah, plasma you double up. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. So let's say if you did plasma, you probably do it twice a week. It's probably like eighty. You probably get about a hundred bucks a week from from blood. Mm-hmm. From plasma. You said two. You said hundred bucks. Yeah, from plasma, mm-hmm. but not from blood. What about sperm? Uh, from what I understand, sperm is pretty cheap. Mm. Um, but, you know, I don't give sperm because, one, they're going to read my specs and be like, we're good. And I don't want my sperm just sitting there <laughs> not what? being chosen. And, two, you know, you just don't want to have a, a child out there. Yeah. yeah. You know. What are you using your plasma for? What are they using it for? Mm-hmm. They give it to people for who need plasma. Mm-hmm. It's just you're just donating plasma, but they pay you. Yeah. And so, I mean, hey, man, you can make four grand a year giving out plasma, yeah. you know, a little more. So, but yeah. Uh, bone marrow. Oof. You can donate bone marrow also. I heard that's really painful. And it pays a lot more, but I haven't done it yet. Yeah, it's like a big needle go right through I your, tried to uh, do one of those uh, medical experiments. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, let me sign up here. <laughs> yeah. And then... Uh, they were like, oh, you had to be here for like three weeks. And I was like, ugh. Some of them you had to do a long time. You had to be in the hospital for. Um, everything goes back to shit for Dion. <laughs> what? What did I say? I was homeless college student in 2018. The pandemic hit. Didn't get housing t- until 2021. Yeah, it's tough. They want to be alone. Uh, Jesse, wow, sorry. You had to go through that. Everybody should be homeless for one year. Everybody should be homeless for one year. Because, you know, when it comes to homeless, you, you will... Be the victim when it comes to other people. And you be like, stay with Chaz. He kicked me out mm. two months. You go to like Paul. You're like, God, dude, Paul Chaz was tripping. Was tripping. <laughs> no, Chaz was tripping, mm-hmm. dude. Can I stay with you for a few months, man? A few months. I'll give you a couple weeks. Ah, you go stay with Paul for a few weeks, and you go to Fred, and then they, and then now they're talking to each other. Like, how long was he stay with you? He told you the same thing. 
Hell no. Now, now is a network of people like, don't let Chad, <laughs> don't let Chad stay. Bro, what sucks is that when you're really scrambling and trying to get it together, it's just a time game. Yeah. You just go like, oh, I got to get this job. Okay, I got this job. This takes time to get paid. It's going to take me three weeks to get this check. Yeah. Okay, now I got to save up, right? Yeah. Uh, let me go pay these people back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I owe how many people and money by now? First month, the first month, last month. Yeah, dog. And, that, just... and imagine if you get a job that's like, like two hours away on the bus. Right. And now you just you, the travel getting there. I used to take the bus from Studio City to Silmar, bro. Every morning, four in the morning was awful. Yeah, it was garbage. Yeah, horrible times. Yeah, ever tell you about the the the, the, the audition I had in Diamondback? <laughs> Why did you even go out there for that <laughs> on audition? On the bus. Oh hell no. On the bus, yo. This is it. Yep. And I'm and gonna get this one. I'm talking. It was it's like a three hour like, journey minimum. Yep. And when I get there. Um, it was very dismissive, mm. as in like, um, no, 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 no. I thought it was a role because mm-hmm. the dude called me. Hey, you have a great look for this role, mm-hmm. and I get there in the attire that he liked. Mm-hmm. It's for this sort of role. I can't think. Of, I can't think of the details, and I don't want to flub this up to make like because I when, if I don't remember things, I start, I start to like fill in the gaps. <laughs> But I remember the, the the idea of it's for this uh, you know period piece of the '80s, mm-hmm. and you know this you know, I think you'd be perfect for this role. I said, okay, cool. So I was like, where's that? And at the time, it was MapQuest because mm-hmm. it was yeah. it was uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to pull up online and figure it out. <laughs> and I was like, damn, I got to take this bus all the way there. So I took the bus all the way there. I get there, they say, okay, read these lines. And I seen a bunch of duplicates of me. Of course. And I was like. A couple lacks. It sucks when you see somebody like, like right. Those are short, chubby dudes. Who'd you find these guys? Yeah. Uh-huh. And I uh, did the line, maybe two lines. Mm. Wasn't prepared. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I thought yeah, I had plenty of time on the bus. But I didn't have the lines. Uh huh. Oh, cold read? Cold read. Oh, okay. And I did the lines. He was like, thank you. And I was like, what now? Did not understand what auditioning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I, I never, he said, you're good. And I was like, what, this is audition? I thought I had the role. He said, no, 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 this audition. And I had to kiss the bus back. It's like, dude, I came three hours. Damn it, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I think that's yours. You <laughs> said so what? The bus came. I <laughs> think I, that's yours? I'll take those sides. <laughs> I'm leaving here with something. You ever, you ever, uh, you want to read it or you want to? Go ahead. You ever uh, auditioned for something and then you thought you killed it? And then uh, you see somebody, like, you didn't get it. And then you see somebody else who, who got the role, like, man, I, I did better than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't done a ton of auditions. Yep. I hate auditioning. I yep. decided early on I was about to do you a ton of auditions. And I was yeah. like, I'm just going to keep going until somebody just says, good chance. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. Yeah. That shit sucks. It happened to you? Yeah. We're Ronnie Ray. Oh, real? Yeah. What did you see him in? Uh, it was, I was at a Nickelodeon um Nickelodeon um, mm-hmm. audition. It was for some role. It was a small piece, like a. I like seen a role. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. An outro. Mm-hmm. And I went on Facebook. I said, "Hey man, I just went for a callback, and I really, really believe that this is the role that's going to start my acting career." Mm-hmm. And then post. Good luck, Dion. Good luck. I was like, scroll up. Congr- He's like, "Yo, I just got the book." <laughs> Ronnie Ray right up under me. I just booked the role of so 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 from Nickelodeon. Blah blah blah. Like, yeah, you like that so Zoe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then and then I was like, <clears throat> congratulations, brother. I just auditioned for that too. And then I was like, post it when you post it when you when it comes out. <laughs> he took the clip. It was like one line, right? It's yeah. Like really quick. Yeah. 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 He posted a clip and I was like, oh, You know what you didn't have? Definitely killed that bitch. He had the hat, man. Just the hat. Man. Yeah, he had the look. He had the look. He had the look, brother. He had the look. Oh, boy. <sighs> uh, they pay for poop studies, too. Do they? Blood bank. Note to self, Dion has never donated blood. <laughs> uh, I'm glad everything went out for you, too, Jesse. It is coming from bone marrow. Nope, they pay for poop. Okay, I need to get back to donating blood. I was a regular after 9 11. That was traumatizing. Which part's traumatizing? Those overnight studies might be great for homeless people. I would love to do that. You can also you can always go to jail. Like, so go to jail, get money? No, you won't get any money. But they'll feed you and they'll keep you in a warm place for the most part. Could they? Could they arrest you for nothing? I think you have to have a charge. 
Goddamn chill. Or guy, oh Officer God. Johnson, Jeez. take me to jail. You can slap him. Listen to me. Take me to jail. I need to eat. I need to sleep. <laughs> I guess you could. what you could do is you could walk into a place and pretend to be drunk. Right? Or be drunk, whatever. And just be belligerent. And they'll come and they'll be like, all right, you're disturbing the peace. Uh, but you, what if you don't want to? I'm, just, I'm not. Hey, listen, listen. You, you don't you, want you're to You're sober as hell. Listen. Officer Johnson, I do not want to cause a crime. Take me to jail. I need to eat. I need to sleep. Please, I need to be in there for a week. Honestly, I need to I need to hide. <laughs> I need to hide from my old lady. You know what I would do? What? I would just go lay on somebody's lawn. Just go lay on some stranger's lawn, start singing some loud song, and then they'll be like, he's trespassing. Yeah, great. Come here for trespassing. But you can get shot. No, I'm just laying there on the lawn. You're not you in danger. You're you you trespassing. You're yeah. on somebody's hey, lawn. Hey, dude, just call the police for me. No. Are you going to come shoot me? Just call the police, Yes. Dude. I'm not bothering me. Just call the police. You are a gun owner. I'm not going to go out there and shoot him while he's laying on the ground. I'm not going to be like, hey, pop that. What are you talking What are we talking about? What's difference? That's crazy. What's the difference between standing in the line versus walk, laying in the line? And somebody's laying down? Mm -hmm. That's a big difference. Yeah. And he's just like, hey, can you call the police? I need to go to jail tonight. And somebody standing there, they look ready to move. Yeah, that's different. If he's standing there, just like like in your window, like this. I'm still not gonna go off and shoot him though. You know what I'm gonna like, do? Yeah, in your window, I'm like this. I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> and then the police come on. They start standing in there. I'm like, oh, <laughs> and then I'm start shooting. <laughs> would that you shoot somebody? Right. Would you shoot somebody in front of a cop? As in like, hey, cops, get this guy, get this guy. It's like, sir, put your gun down. Like, he is on my property. No. No. Why would I shoot a guy in front of the police who's not harming me? What if he's in your house? Well, then you can get shot. Is he harming us? No, he's. you caught him. Oh. Get your ass in the corner. Yo, call the police. Call the police. He's like... <sighs> and, then, <laughs> and then the police comes. Like, yo, get this guy. As soon as he comes, he lunges forward, towards you. Would it, would it, 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 you know it would be like, different if... If uh, the police came, they tried to arrest him, mm -hmm. he molly wops them. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, he takes his gun. <laughs> he takes the cop's gun and say, <sighs> I was like, man, <laughs> I had to. Upgrade. I was better by myself. The cops are tied up together. <laughs> what happened? Kids. Another great movie. Watch this. <laughs> here's, a, here's another idea. Watch this movie. Watch this. What if it was, if it was a guy who said, listen, you're, you're a police officer, right? Okay. Jazz. Mm -hmm. That guy over there molested my daughter. Mm. I need you to arrest him. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's the proof? I don't have the proof. I saw it with my own eyes, but you need to arrest this politician, dude. Mm -hmm. He molested my daughter. He's like, I can't do it without a proof. And he's like, all right, listen. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to kill him. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. If you don't take him to jail, like, we don't have proof. And dude was like, all right, I want to kill him. I ended up killing the politician, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, don't follow after me because I am a trained killer. Mm -hmm. And now that you have the proof that you murdered him, I murdered him. And, and every time you, get, you got a team of people coming at me, I keep killing everybody. <laughs> and it's like, it is like, yo, I think we should stop. We should let him go. And we send a whole SWAT team to the house. <laughs> and no one comes back out. Which he's just coming to blood. Send him all <laughs> like, I, Listen, send all. stop chasing me. I am a trained killer. Would you when would you be like, all right. What if they dropped the bomb on him? <laughs> They're like, all right, we just gotta bomb the house that he's hiding in. And you just see the bomb go back up to the plane. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Well, at at what minutes. point would you stop chasing them? It's like, okay. Hey, he, first body, I'm done. Yeah, I go like, yeah. hey, guys, I'm going to quit. Ain't you about the guy I killed? I'm quitting. I'm quitting the force. And, um, yeah, man, this is, dude, he's a nut. Yeah. I gotta, you got to handle that. You I'm not a hero. You're a cop, though. I'm not. I'm, In this story, you're a cop. This is why I'm retiring immediately. I go, this is too much. When I killed the pedophile or mm -hmm. the abuser, yeah. you, you retire. No. If you kill a pedophile, I hang in there. Once I try to arrest you, I'm trying to arrest you. You and your partner, you like, you, 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 you go to him like, listen. I know what you did was I, a pass, but yeah, look, you like, probably get off because. He's like, listen, I told you to leave. Yeah. 
I'm giving you a warning because I gave you the warning, but I'm going to kill your partner if you, if you try to arrest me. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> <laughs> My partner is looking at his last words. Why did you say that? <laughs> Chaz, just walk away, bro. All right. And you walk away? That's it. And then you're like, where's your partner at? He's I don't clear, know. He's dead. He's. I don't know what happened to him. Hey, I need guys. We got a psych on the loose. I got in a body kit. Look what he did. <laughs> now you're going to get more people killed because you didn't told on them. But that's when I retired. I just couldn't live with myself anymore. <laughs> I can't live with myself anymore. And I had to get out of here. <gasps> I'm out of there. Uh, let me see where we're at. The sigma, uh, you, can ex- you can exacerbate a mental health challenge of generational and systematic traumas. True. Right, the stigma mindset can induce PTSD or complex PTSD. Dog, why, why? You can't be this. All right, all right. You would go to prison, Dion. I'm a CPL license having gun owner person too. <laughs> this is a movie. It sounds like a movie premise. SWAT and FBI for a non-gun owner, Dion is trigger happy. Jeez, that's a day. Philly police bomb the move or uh, anniversary this weekend. Oh, for us today. Yes, must be homelessness. Um, that was today. It, I got one bone to pick with two, Jesse. This is my only issue. Talk with about Jesse. it. <laughs> she did this today on Daddy Issues. Mm-hmm. When whenever we're talking about something, two Jesse would go, not funny. <laughs> she did this last <laughs> week, too, or last episode. It's just like, not funny. It's like, golly. We're going to talk about things that are. Right. We're not going to be all hitting home it's, runs. It's, it's going to be stuff that is risky. Because, you know, we're all laughing, and it's right. just. It's the PC. I'm like, this is not the PC place. This mm-hmm. is, you can't come here for the PC stuff. Right. And then saying not funny is not going to help the no, situation at no. all. Yeah. It's not, it's in cash. What does two Jesse mean? Is it, is it, is it Espanol? Sh- is it short? What does two, two mean? Jesse? Two means you. You, Jesse? Or your? Yeah. You? Two? What's your? Two, right? Two. Two? I don't know. To Jesse, to Jesse, Jesse is um, your yeah, your Jesse. It's my only, it's my only beef. Of to That's Jesse, because I, I keep seeing that not fun. I go like, this is just gonna get worse. I think, this. I think people just need to. It, it's just no way to fix this. Comment sections is the death of a lot of people. They, they enjoy this because it's like now I have power. Mm-hmm. I am in Nebraska. Telling Kevin Hart he is not funny, <laughs> and, and I have power. I can say this under his page, <laughs> and he would never look for me. Yeah. And I can find allies in the comment section. Yeah, you're right. He's trash. Right. And it's like, gosh, dude, why? Why do you have to? And it, and honestly, it's it's this is what it's like. If I'm on your page right now, I'm like this. I'm like, I hear what you said. I'm like, listen. I'm like, <laughs> hey, y'all, we all here. To watch what Chaz just posted, right? Is my video just keep going? I don't think it's funny. <laughs> Who agree? <laughs> These are likes. <laughs> <laughs> and you like this. Hey, bro, why would you say that? Oh. <laughs> hey, I just want to say I'm a huge fan of your work. Oh, okay. Uh, but that particular video. But not in the comment section. In the comment section, you would turn around and you'd be like, I'm glad you're here. Because <laughs> you're a piece of Really? They're, they're double down? If, if someone talked to them in the comments? Yeah. People are bold as hell. Wow. I, I know people would be like, hey, man, I'm sorry, bro. I would just. Yeah, I'm, or they might do the, I'm just saying, bro. Like like when Tony's pandering thing. Yeah. They'll still be like, I'm just saying, you've been da 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 da. He'll be like, well, yeah. explain how. Yeah. Do you be saying, you ain't. They'll, they'll still go back and forth with cats. Yeah. I know people get real humble. No, in the comment section, you just say, you ever see that one that was like, some dude was like, yeah, but you wouldn't say it to my face. Mm-hmm. I beat your ass. He's like, that's right. That's what I'm saying for the safety of my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, you gotta be safe out here. Love you, bestie. Just saying, Dion like hates life because it's not funny though. Oh, good point. <laughs> it is awareness. I know beyond people, people, man. I, I was awareness. I know y'all can find me. Jazz. It's, it's awareness. Awareness about what? I don't like the people who come on your page and tell you to stop talking. Except that's grounds for reply. What are you talking about? What awareness? They, listen, listen. I'm aware of most things that I say that are controversial, I'm still going to say them. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to say them. I'm still going to say it. I'm still going to find the humor and stuff. 
Um, and if it's a miss, it's a miss. But you, in particular, you're here often. Right. You're you're in the live today. You're here often. You're a frequent visitor. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different if you're like just passing by somebody's stuff, but you're here with us. Yeah. Because honestly, if it's your truth and it's controversial, I, 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 I hate that people try to say this is not funny. This is sensitive. Like this is a hypothetical. I, I know I got to go dark. Got to go dark, right? If I was like, yeah, I was molested by my grandfather, but I kind of liked it. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And if I said that as a joke, which is very <laughs> dark. Listen, don't do don't it. Don't do it. <laughs> and I said it, everybody was like, yo, dude, this is not funny. Uh -huh. This is this touches the hearts on, you know, this is not cool. Mm -hmm. So, hey, hey, I was joking. Right. I, mean, I didn't like it, but what I'm saying is this is, you know, Jamar Neighbors, that, that dude right there, he goes there every single time. Jamar can go there. Yeah, he goes there every single time. Uh-huh. Um, but, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I said that. You were going somewhere. You were talking about I, yeah, just going controversial like if it's, in that if dark If it's stuff. dark. Mm -hmm. If it's dark and it's my truth. And it's like, yeah, this is where I live. And, and you know, you find the humor in uh, <laughs> just like, this, this is all daddy issues. Tony going to pull the the, the dead son Trump card on me and <laughs> we we're talking about tragedies on life I'm like dude life is tragic he said I, I make I make fun of uh my dead son on stage and I said okay <laughs> and we just stood there like I said dude you son <laughs> I said, you, I can't say, no, you don't. <laughs> I, I had nothing. I said, you win. Okay. <laughs> no, there's no. What else can you say back? Golly. I can't say that's different. <laughs> I can't. That's the automatic shut down. He was like, all right, we're, okay, we're all done here. Mother. Might have just walked off the show. Yeah. All right, man. I said, boy, you did it. Because I had a nice little run of like, it's a tragedy. Tragic movie is this and this. And he said, I'm in front of my son on stage. All right. <laughs> Did you do? You, uh, two Chelsea was in there. Yeah. You said the try room went? Yeah. Negative what? Air. Air booth. Air booth? I don't know. I tried to. <laughs> oh, yeah. there it is. Air booth. As in like went radio silent. Yeah, I mean, after that, you're just kind of like, all right. <laughs> I had nothing. There, there's no way to get yourself out of that. Well, it's also because Dion's wrong. So, you know. I could say that's your fault. You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> uh, any, dog, it's too hard because when somebody has that big of a, you can't say anything else. And you don't know. You just be like, the ultimate joker. Big joker. Big joker. Big joker. <laughs> Cause, cause if I was like, man, my kid, get on my nerves, but at least you have nerves. Oh man! <sighs> All right, you okay. got me. You got me. Okay, man. Not, I'm gonna go hug him. <laughs> right? What else can you say? It's the ultimate trump card mm -hmm. in any aspect. You just yeah. go, we're done here. Yeah, I remember. Uh, we're done here. I remember yeah. Kev, Kev on stage kept saying, uh, he keep using his his brother's death as a as a excuse. He's like, I'm still grieving, bro. <laughs> That's like get out of things. I can't come. I'm still grieving. <laughs> you can't. You can't say, man. Come on, man. Why not? I'm still grieving. Go to your wedding. Ah, I wish I would love to, but I'm still grieving. Weddings make me feel. Think about my brother. That's a that's a good one too. Mm -hmm. uh, those things do make a difference, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I have to joke about horrible stuff. I had a joke. I had to take out of a. Ugh, this is horrible. Mm -hmm. This one I had to take out of a script. I knew it was too far. Mm -hmm. uh, you ready? Go for it. So, <laughs> whatever they're in a they're in a church, and it's like the mother of the church, and they're selling God Scout cookies. God okay. Scout. God Scout cookies, and this other lady tries to take her territory of where she's setting up at, mm -hmm. and she says, uh, whew, "Hold on, oh, this is oh boy, here we go." <laughs> Hold on, Palestine. You about to find out that it's real over here because you Hamas be out your mind. You think you're going to take my spot? <laughs> the fact that you can remember that is hilarious. 
<laughs> and I remember when I wrote, I said, <sighs> "Yeah, it's brilliant, it's really so brilliantly good. written." And I can never use yeah. this. I can never use this. Yeah, I know it's too far. Yeah, but I still brought it in the room because mm-hmm. I go, "Y'all see this? Mm-hmm. Did y'all see yeah, this yeah. joke I concocted." You had it italicized. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I know it's going out. I know it's y'all too gotta far." Read this. Yeah, I gotta read this. Because then it's like just just children. Dying. I know. Yeah. I know it's still yeah. going. I'm well aware. Yeah. But did you did you see the funny? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just me, dog. Yeah, yeah. I know it's terrible. Mm. I still gotta say it. I uh, it wasn't it wasn't um, this this wasn't a joke that wasn't too far. I had one of those puns like that. Um, it was a uh, two uh, um, Muslim dudes. Mm who was uh buying drugs mm-hmm. and um two muslim dudes buying drugs yeah two two muslim dudes buying drugs and the dude was like uh, no the, like me i was like what, what is this and it wasn't all the money and he was like you can't pay half and it was like you can, you gotta pay in full Arabic B and Hakim. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember everybody was like, no, this is racist. I was like, this is perfect. This is perfect. And they were just like, yeah, Arabic B and Hakim. And they was and they was like, this you can't do that. And I was like, I gotta use it somehow. And I used it in the dad joke. I was gonna say, were they were they black people? Uh no, I, I purposely had that punchline. And I made these characters Muslim. But I'm saying, who were the people you were telling? Who was telling you? It was a black dude. Who was saying that was racist? Yeah, they was like they they were saying that this is just. It wasn't even um, warranted. Like, why are these Muslim dudes here? It's just like it's just like you just did it just for the like, I did. I did. Was it funny though? Yeah, it was funny. It was like this just came out of nowhere. True, true, true. But was it funny though? It was funny. <laughs> Arabic B and Hakim. You got to pay in full Arabic B and Hakim? <laughs> uh, I'm always a fan of... I just go like, man... I can't pass up a joke, dog. I go like, I got to put this somewhere. It's mm-hmm. got to live. It's got to breathe. Yeah. A, lot of these, it's lot, a, lot of, a lot of great rap punchlines are dad jokes. You know what's weird? If I was a white comic, you would just be like, he's so, he's so brave. Mm-hmm. Right? White people get on stage, even with that Tom Brady roast. Yeah. Oh, boy. They were saying all kind of things, mm-hmm. and it's just like, oh, this person is bold. Yeah. Sick of it. Yeah, but they were, they were destroying the dude that hung himself. Oh, Aaron, 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 Aaron this. That's crazy. Yeah. Now, there there's, another, there's, a, there's another tight end who actually was really hung. <laughs> there was. That was a lot. <laughs> I was like, homie's dead. <laughs> what he, well, he murdered somebody, right? Yeah. He didn't kill himself, right? Yeah. So I think that's why they gave him that that out. But the family was like, come on, man. Yeah, I probably wouldn't even touch that. Right. <laughs> that's why I would be like, this is uh, this is real. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, if, if yeah. it's too real, you got to leave it alone. Mm-hmm. Um, he was taking strays. Damn, boy. Well, good thing he's dead. Uh, was it written in pencil? Uh, what are you talking about, Kalani? Or probably written in pencil. Um, I don't know how long we've been on now. I don't know where we started. It's been an hour, guys. Dion and Dion Chaz. And Chaz. Have either of you been uh, been on roast me? Any version? Uh-uh. No. Would you Would you want to do it? If I was a roaster, I'm not great on the top of my on the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Off the top of my head, I like like I I hit you with like Ch- Ch- Chaz looked like uh, uh, a thumb, mm-hmm. and then they were like boo Dion and I'm like oh god. <laughs> the internal and, and panic, I'm, and I'm like, oh, I got nothing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be the punchline for the rest of the night because the retaliation is crazy. Because mm-hmm. after a certain time, after a certain time of getting roasted, it sounds like you's like your mama, like <laughs> like you start here with some little cheesy yeah, ass square up. Yeah, uh, I would do it though, um, but it's not something that I gravitate to. Are you good at roasting? I think so. No, you're not. Why not? Because you said I think so. Yeah. But we always just do it with the homies, so it's never like, I've never had to like but kill But back somebody. to back. You, when you have time to kind of fester and think about some stuff. <laughs> okay, he's going to be on there. He's going to be on there. He's yeah. A lot of times you see people reading off their, their mm-hmm. roasts. Mm-hmm. 
of like you know Craig is yeah. great with that. Yeah. yeah. Camera rolling cut. Yeah. yeah. I remember he said something that always sticks out. He has said he said uh, this girl was on there. I can't think of her name. This was very universal. Mm -hmm. I bet you so and so's smell like alligator burps. <laughs> So random, yo. Alligator burps, man. Alligator burps gotta sound smell awful. This is this has gotta be a terrible smell. Yeah. 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 Uh only the times we've done it was like, you know, if you're if you're sitting around with the homies and you guys start making fun of each other, it's different. But when it's like, oh, you going to war, that's one of those yeah. things where it's like, we're prepping for war. You you're great when it's very specific. Mm -hmm. When it's like like I come in ashy. You know, now I was like, yo, you came in here looking like you've been breakdancing in baby powder. Mm -hmm. ah, yo, yo, I'm sure your ankles, like you can do like that, but versus mm -hmm. like, it's like a bunch of people and you got to kind of like. Keep your head on a swivel. And now you getting, you getting grilled. Now you're like, that's funny. Should I retaliate on what he just said mm -hmm. or should I finish my thought on this person? <laughs> yeah, look to the side. Hey, where'd you come from? <laughs> They be killing cats, man. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also, you can only do it with your friends. What's up, Young Deuces? I'll be chatting as a good roast because I, too, am a head, headedly challenged. <laughs> we had to learn to roast to survive. I didn't look headedly challenged until I went bald. I had some good years of mm -hmm. full hairlines, and then uh, it was a Shima. I remember that it was a Shima wow. Franklin Deuces. Yeah, good job. Y'all great. Y'all really like that show. I didn't know who it was. Yeah, we're talking about that. That's my uh, David Lucas today um, being on there. I was like, he's, because, you know, they were saying that he's, you know, on the whites now. And I was like, he spent a lot of time on roasting. I was like, I'm yeah. sure he has black fans. Right, right, right. Um, I don't know if he alienated, alienated them or not, but mm -hmm. uh, he definitely has black black. How do you feel about openly using the word in front of white people? As in, like, it's not even about, it's just like, hey, you look like a that's can, like, like that, talking to white people. Um, you feel like you tap dancing a little bit? No, I don't feel like you're tap dancing a little bit, but I also, it's like one of those, this is grown folks conversations, and it's like you're letting somebody in your grown or your family business. It's just like, um, you know, I think about it, I hate about it, I think about it when I'm on stage, I try not to say it at all, mm -hmm. but when I hear other people, comedians in our circle, I, and I don't think it's anything you, you naturally think about, but it happens a lot. Yeah. But it's like, there's got to be a disconnect from the audience. I wanted to ask, I wanted yeah. to ask an audience member, like, what is it? feel like when you guys right. hear are you used to it because of years of hip-hop right right or is it just like oh they're not talking to me right, right. <laughs> you know i was like is yeah, it, is I, it a like this is this is me piggybacking off with david lucas i've definitely seen him on kill tony mm -hmm. and he was like hey you like the uh, the dude that do this <laughs> shut your ass up and yeah. it's like and it's like like how do they feel like i'm part of the crew because i'll see i'll see jamar do it too he just says it yeah and it's like and i and i don't think they're doing it to be like necessarily pandering i just think they're doing it more without thought right than like in a way of like being just being themselves. Yeah, I mean, you lose the sense of responsibility with it, mm -hmm. and like that's gone. Like this whole sense of responsibility with it. But also, man, you watch cats like Richard Pryor back in the day; they were yeah. doing all white crowd saying it. So, yeah. you know, it's nothing new. I'm, not, I'm not gonna get mad at them, huh? Who was the the person comedian that actually started? I know white people started it, but actually, like. I know there's a sketch about this too, but like, there smart, is? yeah, there's a sketch about. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's about uh, how the first person who owned, he's like, how you doing, brother? He's like, what's up? He said, what you say to me? He said, hey, 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 own it. He said, what? <laughs> he said, own it, brother. Accept it. He was like, he's like, you're Rick. What's up? He said, oh, I felt that. No. <laughs> So I'm thinking, like, who's the first person who's like, hey, like, he's, like, I don't even know how to, like, I'm pretty accidentally. sure it was just people who were still slaves calling each other to each no, other. No, you didn't. And I'm pretty sure it was even like, hey, blah, 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 blah. I don't think it was even Making that. Making fun of white that, folks? No. I think it's just something that, that's what you became identified as. Be the first person. How would you use the first? Oh, boy. Because if you was a slave, master came in here and said, well, you better do this. <laughs> I said. You do it. <laughs> I'm not letting you because it has to be. It has to be making fun of a white person mockery. You're like, then Master Johnson came in and said, 
you better clean up the the, the swap. And I'm like, <laughs> you, you gotta clean your mouth up first because you stink. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was just as much as uh, you know. What it probably was. It was probably some um, overseer who was black. He was like, "You guys get back to work." He's like, "The Jewish," and I was probably like, "No, hey, you forget you one." Yeah. And it's like, "We all shut your mouth." He's like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait!" He's like, "How are you saying?" It? You know it's wild, dude. Think about this. I'm gonna show this up. Imagine, imagine you being a oh my gosh, dude. This should not make fun of this. What? Imagine you being a slave, uh, uh, in the, a field slave, mm -hmm. and then you, 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 <laughs> you doing all this rebellion and, and protesting about. I hate, I hate Master Johnson. I hate him. And then you doing like yeah we gotta do we gotta figure out a revolution to get about it here and it was like hey, hey yo uh hey yo Jasper huh me I'm like yeah come on in here he's like we're gonna promote you to overseer <laughs> and now you're like oh, really like yeah you go oversee all the, your friends you like <laughs> thank you so much for doing this <laughs> honor upon me. and now you're like oh, and now you get that. <laughs> Getting that power My over your friends. Has become. Yeah, yeah. You like Mark Johnson. Get in here. You like yo. You were just out here yesterday. No, I would first. I'd be, I'd be like, yo, what mess? You mess on some BS, man. Are you gonna be cool? Yeah, I'm at like I'm still yeah, on this yeah. side. Look, my mess on some BS, man. So listen, we have an opportunity. He just promoted me to head overseer. Yeah. You know, because Jenkins died. I was like, so so you can kill him. <laughs> I need you to kill Master Johnson. But well, now, since there's a change, everybody's gonna be on high alert. So we gotta keep things cool for right now. Oh, you in the house with Master Johnson? Yeah, kill yeah, him. But I can't do it on day one. <laughs> we gotta, it's a new plan, new struggle. We okay. gotta we gotta implement a plan now. Hey, Jazz, what you doing talking to them? I'm telling them to shut the fuck up and get back to work. I wanna come back in here again. Tomorrow. Twelve years later, you still, <laughs> you still the overseer. Yeah. Oh, now man. your children out got, here got the glasses too, the big sunglasses. <laughs> you got your little horse. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him where the gun line is at, boss. <laughs> you got the little, little straw. Uh -huh. <laughs> your little tobacco. Uh huh. Look at you, weak. Are you looking a little slow there, Willis? <laughs> We're you gonna, said what? You gonna what? You gonna do what? Hey, Master Johnson, we gotta, we gotta talk right here. I'm still working on that freedom plan. <laughs> I'm still working on it. Just, <laughs> guys, hang in there. It's getting tougher. It's about a lot of politics in the house. Kill Master Johnson. I'm on it tonight. What, what'd you say? Tonight. No, no. What you say? You want to kill Master Johnson? Wow. <laughs> Woo! He sell him out right here. <laughs> as soon as you bring him in the house, you're gonna kill him. Master, wake up! Look. <laughs> I told you. I told you they was brewing something. Look at him. Look at him. They're with their evil eyes. <laughs> That's just their evil eyes. <laughs> You gotta come and light the candle in the dark. <laughs> Look! <laughs> all of them trying to. <laughs> you got all of these little pitchforks like, Master Johnson, wake up! <laughs> you turn it on them, ha! <laughs> I'll protect you, Master. <laughs> Master Johnson had a hard time, like, ha, like, <laughs> and then now you fight him off, like, ah, ah, this is my Master Johnson, like, dude, he's dead. Huh? Oh, I didn't kill my friends for no reason. All right, guys, it worked. <laughs> yeah. All right, you know what's the plan? Freedom. Ooh. Freedom. <laughs> Who wants to start freedom first? You, uh, hang his ass. 
Hang Jasper. Oh, wait, guys, hold on. <laughs> See me get thrown out the window? Woo! <laughs> <sighs> That's terrible. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Um... <laughs> we had a whole sketch. Hmm? Had a whole sketch about being the being the net turner, <laughs> and then all you get the net turn coats. Yeah, <laughs> and then you you turn on him. You better listen. Ain't nobody more about this film life than me. Okay, I'm eating that guys. I told Harriet she got to come back tomorrow. Yeah, so this is time stop, right, man? The moon is out. Massive. Be look look at him. He's looking. We gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Psst, stick some more of the hot iron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go put some water on that, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry brother. Well, we finally fighting for freedom, huh? You've been saying that for years. <laughs> guys, it's not that simple. It's not that simple. You guys are little peasant slave yeah, minds want to understand. And, 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 you try to be cool with it when it I'm like, hey, yo, y'all want to play that, that, that game we used to play back in the day? <laughs> you, Jasper. What? Wow. Wow. wow! 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 You got like a whole turkey leg in your mouth. Like, I think we should play that game. Called. Still eating pig guts. <laughs> they ain't, that can't be good. That's crazy. All the way cooked, bro. That's wild, bro. Mm -hmm. They do smell good though. You got you doing your thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a whole pig ass right yeah, there. Huh? You ain't brush your teeth, nothing, huh? Ooh. You got these toothbrushes in there. Yeah. <laughs> New invention, crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can come out brushing your teeth. <laughs> hey, yeah, I can't get y'all the toothbrush, but y'all should use some like sort of like pine cones to brush your teeth and baking soda. If you're the dude who's been in slavery the longest, let's say you've been a slave for fifty years, right? You're mm -hmm. born into it. This is this is all you know, mm -hmm. right? Now you're fifty. You're probably in the house because you know you're you're, you're, you're old now, mm -hmm. right? The the, the uh, what's his name? The um, Samuel Jackson. Right? Mm -hmm. Are you, are you still, like, do you do you? Uh, is there a disassociation now with your sense of like like like? Let's say you're in that and then you know you find out that you're you're free, right? And it's using spent fifty years in the house. Can you just go off and start somewhere? Like, can you just go off and be free? Who who releases you? Let's say it was like, hey, this is 1865 Civil War just happened. We just got word that slavery is no longer legal. Yeah. So, because then, then the people started being indentured servants, right? Mm -hmm. And so now, so now. Sharecroppers. Yeah. So now <laughs> they're like, hey, you guys, are you're, you're free to go. If you've been there 50 years, just all you know, oh, yeah. are you able to actually go? I'm staying. Because <laughs> then you're just kind of like. Well, well, you know, I mean, and I don't know. I don't know if it's still the thing that you can't read and you can't write and. Mm -hmm. You know what's the what's the next course of action to mm -hmm. actually find your freedom? Because then they just started hiring them, charging them for all their for all their written stuff, and then yeah. nobody could get out of debt. They stayed there pretty much working, right? Right, right. So then, yeah, what's the plan? How do you begin? You just head north, right, on foot, and then it's still dangerous because you're still a black yeah. dude in the south. Yeah. So what's the terror? Yeah, what's the protocol? Yeah. What are you supposed to do? Uh, low key, y'all should write. A movie about that and starting it <laughs> right go where that was there was no plan right yeah. of course that slave supervisor will have a donkey whatever he's still above them <laughs> y'all need to do improv and not the v club y'all need to do improv and not the v club what's the v club maybe the comic club <coughs> the v club mm -hmm. um man come on so much your equipment dog you gotta have the the the, the uh, sandbag. Yes, you do want to set this up. Remember that, right? Sandbag you. That doesn't make sense yeah, at all. Good insult. Mm -hmm. That's how I would do roast me. Yep. <laughs> yeah. The club. Yeah, we do. Uh, we try our best to do as much improv as possible. Um. Yeah, you know what's funny? What I like about uh, the the videos is that like the page becomes really bingeable. But then I was kind of like, man, we do need to turn all those and everything. Everything that we made a clip is a sketch. It is yeah. so funny to hear it and just be like, you can envision. It's exactly how I want to do. You know, we got to produce one of those and make it a real show. And then just go straight from mm. the podcast. That's the, yeah. that's the whole show. Whether there's an <clears throat> audience or not, the whole show starts off on the podcast mm -hmm. straight into the sketch. Hire an intern. To like just watch all of these <laughs> and then just find the best act out scenes we've done. Yeah.
There's a dude that does it right now who does it with drawings, what he did with Kev and Tony and Tahir. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Seems very time consuming. Yeah, for that person. Not right. me. You do it fast? No, as in, like, I'm not doing it. Oh, yeah. It's just time consuming. Now. That yeah, person. I mean, that's, that's like, it takes a long time to animate or draw mm-hmm. in general. Um, yes, that would be dope. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah. I don't know how long we've been doing this episode, but Mm-mm. I. I got nothing else for y'all. My yeah. back is hurt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, uh, Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm you. excited because I get oh, to eat my granola. You were already eating it. You, you got any left? Yeah. There's six of them left in there. Yeah, I ate the whole thing on the mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. But I do want to, you say pick up on the next podcast. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I never got to the thing. There was a guy who went viral. Um... <clears throat> Who's viral now? Uh, he said, and I'm sure you agree, um, because that's how you roll. But I don't know if this is fake or not. Um, you said you sure I would agree because that's how I roll. Yeah, because you you know you are a father that 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 rocks this way, and uh, I get it. Um, this happened today. It, a lot of people keep reposting it. Obviously, this is happening right now. This is embarrassing. Uh-huh. I'm trying to talk over it till it pops up. <laughs> Nothing sucks more than you trying to switch my video and your phone strikes and you're like, yeah, you play me now. Here we go. Oh, what service do you have? Yeah. Spectrum. Spectrum. <laughs> Don't worry about what service I have. Just... Um, this is the video right here. <clears throat> My brothers jump her daddy out the school. I'm sorry. I know that was probably a traumatizing experience for you. But we kept asking you to stop bullying my daughter and you wouldn't listen. We sent letters home. We even had a meeting with you and your parents and you wouldn't listen. So now you know your actions have consequences. And since you're too young to receive those consequences, you had to watch your daddy take those consequences. Get some therapy. You'll be all right. A lot of y'all keep asking why I didn't fight this man one on one. And why I got my brothers to jump him in front of his seven year old daughter. And the answer is simple. Life is not fair. You get jumped by responsibilities every day. Bullying is not fair because you're picking on somebody that's essentially a weaker vessel and that's smaller than you. So I wanted to make sure she saw what it looked like when a fight is not fair and you don't have no choice but to let somebody jump you. So she could get the concept of what she was doing. Sometimes kids learn from what they see and not what they hear. So I wanted it to be a visual experience, okay? I'm out here doing the Lord's work, okay? God is pleased with a seven-year-old girl who had to... So what you agree? What you think? You agree uh, with him? I tell you, Saturday said I'm doing the Lord's work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, say, I'm doing the Lord's work, man. There's plenty of people who just kept on going. You agree? Uh, I saw Jay Phillips post this, yeah. and I commented, the only thing he did wrong was one time. I would be showing up and whooping his ass, me and my brothers, every day. Is exactly the same? The same father? Same father. Why? What do you mean why? How many times did his daughter bully my daughter? <laughs> How many times did we ask him to stop? Mm-hmm. You getting them ass whoopings until yeah. you finally understand what we're talking about. Because one time mm-hmm. of getting jumped, I go like, no, no, no. All we did was jump you. If we come back tomorrow, now we're bullying you. Yeah. You just yeah, got yeah. jumped once. Yeah. This is a continuation. Right. Being a jerk is one time. Mm-hmm. Bullying is constant. Yeah. You if know, I ask you multiple times to stop bullying my daughter, get your kid on the control, and you don't, you're mm-hmm. getting your ass up until we get tired. Yeah. What sucks is what if the mom knew about this? And then it was like, it was like, hey, James, can you go up to the school and figure this out? I was like, what's happening? It's like, just figure out. This, these dudes are threatening uh, our daughter. He was like, hey, what's going on? Oh, what? <laughs> It's like, what? What's happening? What seems to be the I problem? told you. It's like, I told you. No, you told my wife. <laughs> to come up with the crew. He's like, man, my brothers. First off, to have brothers like that is just what a blessing. Mm-hmm. So to have brothers like that is just what a blessing. Yeah. I was wonder if any of them got like jail time. Because he's like, hey, listen, we did that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, no doubt we did that. We tried our best to try to, you know, talk to you. And you said nothing. And the bullying kept happening. Uh, with a mason necklace. I don't know oh, yeah, he did. He did have a mason necklace. What does that mean? Uh, the uh, the little eye, the little triangle. Okay. It's a, uh, yeah, it's like a sorority. Fraternity, I'm sorry. Fraternity, like a Illuminati. Oh, like the Freemasons. Yeah, Freemasons. Oh, I don't really know all that stuff. What does that mean, though? Does that mean, like... I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Are you a Freemason? Is that... Is My that dad that? is. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. Can you, anybody join I don't know how it works. You're a legacy kid. You ever try? I don't know. I, I wouldn't do my it. My father it just, ran it just felt the weird. Ohio chapter, actually. 
Uh, it just felt weird. Yeah, I wonder what's the what's the requirements to join. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's it. That's one of your thoughts on that. Yeah, man. You gotta uh, after after her after you go through the uh, if I talk to if I talk to the teachers and they do nothing, and if I talk to the principal and they do nothing, and I talk to the father, you do nothing. What else am I supposed to do? Move my kid out to school? Mm-hmm. What's the next step? Right. And do and, and like 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 what if you see your child being bullied real time? Do you do anything to the child? You're like, where's your father at? Or do you like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, break this up. You're going to stick with me until your parents get here. You do that? If you keep seeing your child trying to get up and they kept pushing her back down, right? Just kept pushing her back down. Like, stop! And she, and she gets put back down. Like, hey, chill out! Where's your father? I'm definitely tossing this kid off my kid. <laughs> also, though... I'd be like, Izzy, this is my fault. I didn't train you properly. Mm-hmm. You should be able to put her in a leg lock and put her right to sleep. There's sever- several chokeholds you can do while yeah. being on the bottom. Yeah. That is my apologies for not training you earlier. <laughs> Let's go training. Let's go training. <laughs> Rise also, it now. Also, and I know Izzy, she'd be too sweet. I'm going to slap them in the f- face. Mm-hmm. But she'd be like, no. A slap is, disrespe- is more disrespectful than a punch. Mm. Like, like this... <laughs> is, is wild versus like a fire. I don't want her to get the green light to because I don't want her to overreact to somebody's being crazy. Mm-hmm. And then I'll be like, hey, you have to you know defend yourself. But she's, I, mean, I don't know. I don't think it happens yet, right? I mean, I guess so. Five, six. That's when mm-hmm. does bullying start at five or six? Kindergarten. Yeah, they start making their own decisions and stuff. It's five. Five or six seems way too young to bully. No, but first grade, second grade, that seems like that's when it happens. You ever see somebody else's child and you hate them? You be like, you be like. Like it, it wasn't my child or that's involved. I just seen a child that wanted to play with every toy. Mm-hmm. Now I'm just like, where's the parent? Yeah. Like it was like you was playing with this. Is like I want to play. It was like, hmm. and it was like, and they they pick up some else. It was like, I was like, like give this child some attention. <laughs> this this child was mad mature. It was like take it. Yeah. I got, I'm, I'm creative. I go to something else. And it was like. And it's like, you having a good time over there? I'm going to take this to it. It was like, all right. And they just kept, they just kept walking away. Like, it's like, let's get some attention. <laughs> um, would you uh, like tell that kid, like, hey, you need, to, you need to calm down. I don't know where your parents are, but you need to, you need to calm all that down, dog. Have a seat. Sit your ass. Uh, if, it's my, if my child is not involved, I'm not getting involved. Yeah. Because you don't want to say, hey, hey, hey. Don't talk to my child like that. It's like, you know what? I should have stayed out of this. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want any of that. But um, I, if it's my child, I would I would make a scene. Hey, whose child is this? <laughs> I, cause, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was minutes from taking my belt off. She's pregnant. I'm so sorry. It took me so long to, to get over here. I think I'm going to. It's all right. You need, you need okay, to I'll whoop the child for you. <laughs> I got you. Either way it goes. <laughs> Can't get it down. And you're next. <laughs> She's like, oh, that's how I got this child. <laughs> you had to be sponsored. You're hazed. Oh, nope. That's why I check out. What do you do when you realize that your kid is the bully? Uh, turn it into money. You know what I'm saying? Start tra- fight training that kid. Mm. Uh, the necklace was also to notice you're being watched, and my bros are watching you. Prince Hall Masons are no joke. Um... If my kid is the bully, I feel like there's there's few lessons you get to learn. Um, you know, my mom would have been like, "Oh, great, you bully people, fight me now." That'd have been mm-hmm. <laughs> that mm-hmm. me growing up. Mm-hmm. Great, fight me now. No, no. So, um, but if your kid's the bully, man, I'm trying to think. Of, have you have you ever experienced that? Uh, no, my child's never been the bully. You never had the mean. But girl? I think I think uh, anybody will be. If if you are in tuned to your child, you will defend them no matter what. It's like your child has been disruptive. He's been throwing things. He's been pulling girls' hair. Like what, who who's triggering this? Because he's not like this at home. Of course you can go that direction. Versus mm-hmm. like I believe everything you're saying, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna whoop him for you. Mm-hmm. I think I think you're gonna immediately go on defense parent mode if you are in tune. Versus like a, a snob who is a CEO of a company is like whatever what, we'll take him out put him out of school uh if it's like somebody like that I, I think you would try to like your best to 
who's triggering him? Because he doesn't mm-hmm. like this at home. And you got to have that proof of like, oh, this is a problem. Mm-hmm. Because have you ever took somebody else's word versus your child's? Have I? No. Yeah, it's, it's not great. Mm-hmm. Because you need to know two sides of the story. Right. Why is she doing this? Is she mm-hmm. being, is he, are you just catching the retaliations? Mm-hmm. Um, but I think I need to get a chronic situation. I would talk to him. Hey, tell me what happened. Mm-hmm. Is this, well, who, they said you did this because this is not cool. Right. Like, you know, I need to, like, what's happening? And mm-hmm. like, Daddy, did this, did this. I'm going I'm to believe my child. Mm-hmm. But if they said, okay, this happened again. I heard that Jocelyn was you know, kicking her in her knees while she was sitting Indian style. Mm-hmm. That's what she told me. This is why she's doing this. Right. No, Jocelyn, there's no such thing. Jocelyn is an imaginary Jocelyn friend. <laughs> Jocelyn is an imaginary friend. Oh. Oh. Okay, my child's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep saying they see dead people. <laughs> Jocelyn dies. When is, which is why parents are out here jumping other parents. They all believe in a child. Hey, I got it. Yeah, I probably have to see you bullying my kid. Um, otherwise, I'm also gonna be like, you got to defend yourself, kid. And I can't. I can't be here for all that. Calling dad three last last the last person I want to get beating by my dad. Uh, what are these sideways things? Is that spectrum? Hmm. Tell me two, Jesse. Is what spectrum? Um. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I would hate to have the bully kid. I would. I would. Uh. I would definitely. Make her life miserable. She was a bully. I, I saw this one guy. He had like took uh he found out his kid was bullying somebody, so he took the other kid onto like a shopping spree and stuff like that, and took him out to dinner while the other kid had to watch. Wow. And so I saw that. And I saw the vice versa. That the kid who was bullying this person's son, he took them and went with them. He's like, Come on, man, come with me. Come get the haircut. Come he treated him like a son. Because mm-hmm. he was like, That's all he's missing. So wow. I've seen those other like both sides yeah. of that, you know. What if it's a girl? bullying your son how do you handle that if it's a girl bullying my son and, and what do we mean by bullying as in like so you have a son so punching he, kicking what are we talking about every time he walks he trips him oh. trip to the ground knocks his books out of his hand hey flip her chair over while she's sitting down oh. you gotta you gotta fight fire with fire in school mm-hmm. and the parent is only a mom is what only a mom what do you mean only a mom like as a single you mom? can't you can't say i want to fight your parent no. <laughs> Look, man, I don't, I don't have that thing of being like, let's sit down and talk about. It. We can talk once, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna tell Izzy when you're at school, you gotta defend yourself because I'm not there. The, I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the bully's mom. Okay. Tell me what you, what, what my child's doing. Um, hey, so I'm being told that your kid is tripping my child at <laughs> seat. Okay. Is it, is it funny that your kid's <laughs> tripping my kid? You called a meeting because. Kids are being kids. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. You have a good one. Girl, let me tell you what this dude just did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the next day, I'll be picking up my school. My kid. What happened? Why is the ambulance here? What? what? Oh, my kid hit her kid with the book? Where? In the face? Straight school? I don't know how she got that idea. Uh, oh, oh, my kid suspended? That's fine. That's fine. Because the thing is, the disrespect might laugh in your face like, I'd be like wow. Okay. wow. You you called me out of work for this? You're right. I'm tripping. <laughs> Today, your kid's tripping tomorrow. <laughs> and the next day. And the next day. Did you hear Did you hear about the girl who, was, her mom was the same size as her. So she put a hoodie on and came to school and she like did the bullying herself. Huh? So, you know, children can catch up with your, your parents' mm-hmm. heights. So it was a little petite woman who snuck in the school because she just had a hoodie on because she blended in with the kids. Mm-hmm. And she found the kid that was bullying her child and she motley whopped her and did some damage. Don't ever touch my daughter again. She tried to go, like, leave as if <laughs> the kid is not going to tell on her. And she went back over like, I wasn't there. And they tried to find the cameras and they was like, that was you right there in that hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> the hoodie's in the background. <laughs> Can they prove it? No. I was like, yeah, I don't know what happened to that little girl. 
Hey man, at the end of the day, bro, I'm gonna tell my kid to protect yourself. That's mm-hmm. there. We're not gonna have. We're not gonna have that. Yeah. And I've seen it time and time again. The smacking shit out of your kids is the best way to get a kid off you. Yeah. Like I've seen it, yeah. done it. Yeah. You never have a problem again when you smack the shit out of somebody. Yeah. Why is that the answer? I don't know. Did you have bullies in in, in school? Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was just a like a, a TV thing. Cause I I we we make fun of people, but we we didn't do the whole shoving people in the lockers and giving them whir- swirlies and well, we did that, but differently. What'd you do? Like like if you were on our team or one of our guys, then we bullied you more so hazing, quote unquote, mm-hmm. with love. Yeah. Uh, but we definitely saw some kids in some lockers. God, man, I never, I never seen it in real time. I never seen the whole like, "Hey, Chaz, what's with the hoodie?" <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't ever on some like, "Shut up, peep, pip squeak," and like it was never like that. Yeah, it was always like football or wrestling is like, "Yeah, man, you beat up on the younger kids. That's what you do." Mm. The freshman came in. Oh, that's great. Here we go. Yeah. We used to give kids pink bellies, which is what I learned from the white kids. Uh, is when you slap them on the belly, their pink stomach turns pink. I was like, oh, but then it work on us. Yeah. <laughs> but we would do that. And we did all kind of stuff, man. Yeah. Um, I think the most we did was dunk on people on, on the doorways. Oh, you guys had it easy. Mm-hmm. No, there was. I remember I was on a bus, and there was this one kid behind me who kept messing with me. Whatever, he kept, like, pushing my head. And I said, hey, dog, you got one more. It was two kids behind me. I didn't care which one it was. It didn't matter. I said, yeah, you got one more time. And all I felt was a push again. No idea who did it. Mm-hmm. The kid closest to the window, I slammed his head twice on the window. Oh it was like sixth grade. Yeah. And I sat back down. Never, ever, ever had a problem. Wow. That's it. I got to kill you. It's done. And then when the kid just sat there, he was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was like, anybody else? We good? That's it. And went back to, <laughs> to talking about whatever we were talking about. I was like, well, but no, that's also mm-hmm. my mom was like, I'm gonna do that. Mm-hmm. If you if you get in a fight at school, you tell me, I'll talk about it. But you're yeah. not gonna get trouble for defending yourself. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Let's get hmm? out of here. All right. All right. I went to I went to Saint Saint Cecilia Cecilia in Detroit, and that this girl in my class got bullied so bad that the boys would hit her with dictionaries. Oh my god, dictionaries. They were hit with dictionaries and the teacher stepped out? That's crazy. <laughs> that poor girl. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, ending on a high note, you know what I mean? <laughs> God is love. <laughs> we got to give a bullying, anti-bullying mm-hmm. number. Yeah. If your kid's getting bullied, call them 1-877. No bully. Stop yeah. hurting me. Please, yeah. please stop bullying. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching the episode. Like it on your chest. No, no, no. Check, please. Do you mind if I give them some more? Yes, please. A lot of laughs we're cooking up in this podcast. Type in XD is high key, the live stream. Your multi positive conversations, except we tend to get darker than Elbows and Wesley. I'm sort of popping like Coca Cola and Pepsi. Mr. Taz Rogers, Big Ready from Lansing. I'm like Toast, ENT. I guess we paying for the bills, so give us another. Check, please. My mouth was so dry. Yeah. I had nothing. Golly, I had they, nothing. They dropped down. A girl bullied my son, uh, I guess, because she was new. She wouldn't, she wouldn't swing on her. Got suspended. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. All right, man. Thank y'all for watching, man. We appreciate y'all. As always, thanks for the laughs. Dude, we went from oh, like 21 to 9. It's bound to happen. <laughs> so what? It's bound to happen. Once yeah. like, All right. I'll click, click, click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, y'all. We appreciate y'all, man. Big Peace. sis Chris came in mad late. Oh, uh, why is it so late? Because she's in LA.